breaking backboards to turning players into memes. These are the 20 craziest dunks in NBA history. And at number 20, DeMar DeRozan committed murder. DeRozan has 25 and a half. DeMar DeRozan, six to go, but all the way to the foot. Oh, 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 dynamite! God damn, man. You gotta feel bad for Anthony Tolliver. After the dunk, fans really edited his wiki page to say he died. But even though the dunk was crazy, it only happened during the regular season. Imagine starting the game with a dunk so violent, it completely ended a playoff series, like LeBron in our 19th spot. Uh, yeah, and with his left hand, once the Raptors felt LeBron's dunk, even the fans knew it was over. Just look at this. So, now I know where 2K gets their dunk packages from. Either that, or a dunk like Melo's at number 18. Rebound, Millsap. Gallup, Oh, wow! Oh my god! After the miss and with no momentum, Melo really said, get the f*** out of here. But at least Paul Millsap only got embarrassed once. Because at our 17th spot, another dude got embarrassed in the same play twice! Turian. Catch. Oh, wow. Get the shot blocked by Evans. Evans will fly to the basket. Slam dunk! Bro, that's one of the craziest plays I've ever seen. Honestly, the only thing that's worse than getting embarrassed by a vet is getting annihilated by a rookie. Like in our number 16 spot. Runs it to Burks. Catch and shoot three. No. Rebound. Oh! My! J just look at Josh Hart, man. Dude got hyped, and he's literally on the other team. Lakers are just lucky Mitchell didn't almost make a defender backflip like the dunk at number 15. It was Cavaliers vs. Heat in a legend-filled matchup. I mean, even Michael Jordan was in the crowd, so things were about to get crazy. And just eight minutes in, with Shaq on the bench, Brent felt it was the perfect time to show everybody who daddy was. But trying to post to somebody like that, D-Wade wasn't having it. So right when he got the ball, even LeBron couldn't stop him. Here's James! for contact from Jermaine O'Neal, got a piece of it. Oh my god, is Verja okay? I already know when LeBron saw that, he already knew he was taking his talents to South Beach. But what's even crazier is, that ain't the only time a dunk made him team up with somebody. At our number 14 spot, LeBron himself almost became a victim. Smith against LeBron. Holy shit, JR must have been off the henny. And that ain't even the craziest dunk of his career. But before we get to that one, let's talk about the time Anthony Edwards risked a career ending injury for the dunk at our number 13 spot. Ooh, they were lucky that wasn't turned over. Anthony Edwards, that time he does finish. Hold up, did I just see grown men scissor in midair? Just look at this dude's face, man. He forgot what sport he was even playing. And I mean, this dunk was so crazy, they literally gave the Wolves four points. But that's nothing compared to a player defying gravity, like during our number 12 spot. The Southeast seven and one on the road against the Southeast. Oh my, play of the day for the Heat. Yo, who the f made this list? Dude didn't even dunk, he threw the ball in. And his teammates didn't know how to react. Just, just look how confused they are. Now, I'm sure this will be a highlight for years. But another dunk became so legendary, over a decade later, players still copy its celebration. Just take a look at number 11. They blindsided from the right corner for two dunks for, for Durant. Oh, wait, what a play! With a spin so crazy it did my laundry, what D-Wade did to Kendrick Perkins shouldn't even be legal. And just look at the celebration after. Wait. You're dirty for that one. But what's even crazier is, that wasn't even the worst dunk Perkins suffered all year. So now that we're hitting the top 10 craziest dunks ever, it's time we take things to a whole new level. It's a physical game. <laughs> My thoughts and prayers go out to the Perkins family. Cause Blake Griffin pulled off a dunk so violent, he literally had to be held back. No wonder why Kendrick Perkins retired and became an analyst. Dunks like those would have me scared to even step on the court. But listen, we all knew Blake Griffin would make the list. He's unbelievable. So let's see a dunk that's never been done in history at number nine. Control, good rebound. Nice outlet. On the run, two on one. Green the finish. Wow, the alley -oop. 
bro? I thought I was watching a game, not the dunk contest. Gerald Green really pulled off an alley-oop so crazy. They literally stopped the clock. My god, man. Only thing better than that is getting head mid-dunk. Imagine. Well, actually, you don't gotta imagine that. It happened at our number eight spot. Talk about an and one with one of the most disrespectful dunks in NBA history. Mozgov's entire family watched him give Blake sloppy on live TV. But see, at least Blake had time to pull this dunk off. Imagine being on the opposite end of the court with just a few seconds left. Well, J.R. Smith did the unthinkable. See how it's affecting Tony Parker. Man, I miss this JR. <clears throat> instead of this one. Now, even though Carmelo couldn't believe what he was seeing, them two were at least teammates. Imagine pulling off something so unbelievable, you start getting dapped up by the other team. Yeah, number six was that crazy. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals, while all eyes were on Miami's big three. One of the NBA's young rising stars, Paul George, wanted to make a statement. So with a few seconds left in the third, Peachy just had to let LeBron know it was his turn. Holy shit, man! With one of the hardest dunks in NBA history, Paul George damn near killed the Birdman. Now, LeBron did come back down and end the quarter with revenge, but he made sure to let Paul George know even he was impressed with that dunk. But speaking of LeBron, it wouldn't make sense if he wasn't in the top five himself. So let's talk about the dunk so legendary, it became a mural. And in Bosch's face, left side to Dwayne Wade, the alley-oop. LeBron with a right-hand jam on the alley-oop! LeBron really jumped over a grown-ass man, as if dude wasn't even there. And what's even funnier is, the Heat weren't gonna let John Lucas ever forget it happened. Cause after the dunk went down, they actually signed Lucas, just to make sure he had to live with that dunk every single day. Man, that's dirty. But as dirty as the dunk at number four? Nah. Cause to this day, I still can't believe it happened. And here's Obi Toppin, look out! Oh! Obi Toppin really came to the game trying to be Santa Claus, and he delivered. But at least the Hawks can say they weren't embarrassed enough to be in our top three. And now that we're here, we have to talk about a dunk so vicious, it literally turned a player's entire life into memes. Here comes Chris Paul. The lob. The jam! Oh, what a monster jam by DeAndre Jordan! That had to hurt. How could you possibly think getting in the way of a 7 foot, 265 pound monster was a good idea? Well, that's why you ended up on the floor, ball literally bopping you off the head. So I think it's safe to say, DeAndre ain't the only Jordan taking things personally, so that dunk had to be on purpose. But what happened at our number two spot was on accident? Here's Middleton, Giannis trailing the lob! Ah! Oh! Uh, yeah, a dunk so crazy, celebrities in the crowd couldn't even believe what they saw, and I'll blame them. Imagine seeing a seven foot giant literally drag his balls on a grown man's forehead and get away with it. But the craziest part of all of this was, Giannis didn't even know he was there. I did not see uh, Dave Hardaway. Now, I don't know if Giannis was capping, but either way, we still have time for one more dunk. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. One monumental dunk stands above the rest. And here he goes. Here we go. PG got? puts oh, it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. PG. Unbelievable. Paul George landed the most legendary in game dunk ever to the point where announcers couldn't help but yell like the Kool Aid Man. Oh, oh yeah. So, there's only one thing crazier in this dunk. Full court shots, game winners, scoring on accident. And I know you want to hear more about that, so just click this video right here.